remember that different types of pH we were talking about. In the right side, please note the different parts of the elementary canal. And the left sides are all glands. Glands are of two types. I would also try to make, touch this point today when we will come, if it is possible. At least you know it from here also, two types of glands. When secretion reaching the blood vessels or other parts of the organ with the duct, then all are called exocrine glands. So here we are having several exocrine glands, though pancreas is a mixed gland. So I would just to pass with the idea, pass the idea to have a, have an idea that we are, in case of taking the food, we chew it, break the food stuff mechanically with the teeth and the tongue. So food stuff we, uh, is broken down into smaller particles. And in this occasion, in this occasion, also the salivary glands will help us. This is parotid gland just beneath the ear, and submandibular gland, and also sublingual glands. So here the pH will be, uh, what type of pH? Can you identify? OK, just check it, and then you mention what type of pH will be. So then it will reach, it will reach these esophagus, then finally from esophagus to the stomach. In case of stomach, there will be gastric juice. pH will be there. What type of pH? Perhaps you know that. HCl, 0.2% HCl will be secreted from the cells of the stomach, and it will make the environment acidic because the protein digesting enzymes will be activated then, and it will digest the protein parts. Then it will reach from the stomach, then it will reach from that point to this one. After, after stomach, this point, this part of the elementary canal is known as intestine, and the first part of the intestine is known as uh, duodenum. In the duodenum, two ducts will join, one from from gallbladder and the liver, that is known as common bile duct. Another duct will come from pancreas, which is pancreatic duct. Both will unite and open in the same point. And in the duodenum region, they will pour, they will bring juice with, in, uh, in case of pancreatic juice, enzymes will be there, but there will be no enzyme in the common bile duct but they will certainly create pH. So what type of pH there will be? <clears throat> Note it, only I mentioned about the stomach, the last, last part you have to understand, and also first part. So, so far we are observing this uh, food stuff is going down through the elementary canal. From outside we are observing, just like an X-ray eye we are observing. Now we want to go inside the elementary canal and to go along with the food stuff to understand how food stuff is, how food stuff are traveling down. So from duodenum to jejunum and finally it will reach the ileum part. So food stuff are getting into smaller parts, uh, smaller parts with the help of digestive enzymes. And at the ileum part, you will find some projections like finger-like projections known as villi or villi. So here, villi are here. And this villi having two types of uh, vessels inside, I would like to show you now. So each villas will contain two types of ducts. Can anyone from 10, in case of here, just check this red one. In case of capillary, we say that, that the thing is this, arteries are broken down into arterioles and this arterioles will be very finer and this will be capillary. So this is the part of the arterioles and it will merge again to form venules. In case of capillary network, you will find that one. So these are all parts of the red and the blue are the parts of the blood vessels. 
and this yellow color it is the part of the lymph vessel known as lacteal here the blood vessel will take up the finer part or the unique part of the carbohydrate like glucose fructose and galactose mainly the glucose and also the amino acids coming from the proteins and the lacteal will take up the finer part of the lipids so they will take up and they will take this one so they so check this one so finer parts is coming into the capillaries and also to the lacteals so these are all going on and they will carry this one this and it will be finally taken in case of capillaries it will be <clears throat> finally taken to the liver and then to the rest of the body so this is our digestion and then things are absorbed and to give it to the different parts of the body now i would like to go back for the ph we were actually interested with the ph now so what will be the ph in the mouth so this is the thing we would like to check up here also once again another part so the mouth oral cavity so oral cavity you know the teeth are there and the tongue and all that and glands we have already seen just now so these are the teeth uh, in case i would just to like to again share another thing just check this one the structure of the teeth uh, are like this so one tooth i will take up so crown and the neck and the root part in one type of classification if you go this will be the classification the parts you can classify the parts in different way as well also so here it is enamel that the white part and the dentin the lower part and the pulp part also you can classify in this way also there are three types so in case of food particles are on the top of this enamel if it is not washed properly the invasion of the bacteria will there and it will create cavity and that cavity will go deep and deep and it will touch the nerves also and that time we find severe to take so this will penetrate so the bacterial infection will be penetrated more deep so this is about the bacterial infection only to understand this one now this mouth cavity and in case of tooth uh, we generally use when in case of the doctors they in case of examining the tooth dentist use uh, uses mirror so what is the type of mirror used by used for diagnosing tooth decay and why 10 a anyone can you answer this question uh, try to make an uh, Try, try to relate your understanding in the physics so concave mirror i'm sorry uh, concave mirror then why is it so because i have to also to answer it i would also like to answer it with a picture which will help you to understand so this will be a bigger picture so ph will be in the tooth uh, within the oral cavity what will be the oral the, the what will be the ph in the oral cavity another important point i have to ask then to uh, from the from the picture we can also guess so bacteria and the sugar they will create acidic environment ph and in the acidic environment bacteria can act well and saliva is slightly alkaline in nature it can protect our teeth at a certain level but the toothpaste also can help us more and it will be also alkaline in nature and that will it will neutralize and finally we will get rid of the infection of the bacteria so in the mouth it will be ph it will be alkaline initially it will be alkaline but bacterial infection can make it acidic toothpaste will help us to make it neutralize and to wash away all these things the acidic ph will be in the stomach in order to allow the protein digesting enzyme to function well but in the intestine it will be again it is alkaline because there are several enzyme uh, digesting proteins and carbohydrates all will act in the alkaline ph so that will be allowed and favored and so different types of ph will be required and different types of ph can help us to have a better digestion